Hari Om. So friends, today we will study how to chant Om. So for the common man, chanting of Om is done using two syllables. One is O and second is Mo. So they usually chant Om as follows. Oh, that is, they pronounce O as O and M, so it sounds like O. However, when you are doing yoga, you should understand that O is not a combination of two words. However, it is a combination of three syllables. Which are a, o, and m. Now, while chanting Om, you should always begin with the sound of a. The sound of a should be so strong that you should feel the vibration right from the tip of your toes till the center of the navel. When you chant O, the sound should be so strong that you should feel the vibration from the center of the navel till the middle of the heart. And when you chant M, the third letter, the sound should be so strong that you should feel the vibration from the center of the heart till the top of the head. So let us see how to chant Om. Now, for chanting Om, there is no restrictions. However, in order to get maximum benefits, it is always better if you sit in an easy cross leg position with your spine erect and hands preferably in Dhyan Mudra, that is, tip of thumb and index finger just touching each other and the other three fingers curled and the hands being lightly rested on your knees. So let me show to you or demonstrate to you how to chant Om using the three letters A, O and M. So I'll close my eyes and I'll begin the chant as follows. When you continue chanting in this manner, the common man, if he listens to your voice, he will feel that you are chanting O and M, that is O. However, you know that you are chanting A, O and M. If you pronounce in this method which I have shown to you, it will be like exercising your whole body. Thus, Om can be chanted by any person of any age and there is no restriction in the manner you have to do it. So, if a person is sick and he is totally bedridden, even then he can do Om chanting. If a person has issues in his knees and he is seated in a wheelchair or on a normal chair, even he can do Om chanting. While you are waiting for your vehicle, you can do Om chanting. So you can do Om chanting standing, sitting, sleeping and there is no restriction that you have to take bath before doing Om chanting or any such restriction. So Om is a universal sound. 
it does not belong to any particular religion it encompasses all the religions and it welcomes everybody towards doing the om chanting om chanting if done in the method which i have demonstrated will help in exercising the whole body as well as your mind a question which many of our students ask is how many times we should do om chanting in order to get benefits of om chanting you should do it minimum 11 times you can do it more than 11 times but to get the benefits do it for a minimum 11 times now why you should do it for minimum 11 times so let me demonstrate to you with the help of a example if you do this mudra and the center of the thumb if you keep in the middle of the eyebrow and the top of the index finger in the center of the head the point where the index finger ends if you touch that point before you chant the om you will come to note of a specific temperature now you do 11 times chanting of om after that you do the same mudra touch your and then touch at the other end and you will see that your head becomes warmer and this demonstrates that the energy has risen up to the head and that is why you should chant for minimum 11 times if you chant for less than 11 times maybe the energy might reach up to ear or ear but if you chant the entire 11 times it will reach up to the top of the head and thus benefit your entire body now a very important point is for what duration we should chant a for what duration we should chant who and for what duration we should chant ma so when you are chanting om if a is of this duration u should be double of a and ma should be double of u this is the ratio which you have to follow while chanting om but the question is how will i come to know that i have done a u and ma of the correct duration so there is a simple solution to it in your mind you have to draw the image of om so when you chant a uh, so you have to draw in your mind only up om up to here when you chant u uh, you draw in your mind up to here and when you chant ma you draw in your mind from the center over here till the top a dot on the top so if you continue chanting in this method your proper ratio gets followed so friends i hope that you continue chanting for om and please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you receive all our future updates and also i'll be glad if you write some reviews about your experiences which you might come across after you begin your journey of own chanting hari om